Alright guys, um, everybody's been asking me for a while how much power this thing's producing and first let me tell a little story behind this. Okay, mine comes down from the pole about 33 feet and then travels another, almost another 40 feet. So all in all, you know, you're looking at over 75 foot and so I was going with the three phase AC. I was having no luck with the three phase AC. Uh, I talked to a buddy of mine, he's got a couple of these same type of setups. He said he had no luck with the three-phase AC. The only way he could get it to work was with the DC. So we switched to DC. Now what we did is we just took the uh, tower down and took those same wires and just wired it up DC with this scrawny extension cord. It's only 12 gauge wire so you can imagine the line loss that I'm getting. So really all this was was a test to see if it did better on the DC side or the AC side. So far what I'm seeing is it does better on the DC side. Uh, we got a nice windy day today. Um, of course right now it's not going to put out any amperage, but uh, the dump load's been kicking off and on all morning long. Uh, watching it earlier, it's actually hitting uh, hit about 29 amps, which I thought was pretty good going through one little scrawny 12 gauge wire. But uh, this is the setup here. Um, it's just a little box that I got from work they were going to scrap it out and I thought well hell I'll take that home and put all my junk in it. Let me get my trusty quarter here. Open this dude up so you can actually see what's inside of it here. But uh, I tried to do it as tidy as I can. Um, originally like I said it's coming in with the, uh, the uh, three phase but I just skipped that and uh, ran it on the other side and so I'm just kind of actually just bypassing it and it goes into this little uh, 8 amp breaker there and then loops back around goes through my shunt uh, that's where I pick up my signal and I pick up my voltage ring for my voltmeter uh, then it goes straight down goes all the way down these dudes and goes into my little scrawny 250 I think it's 250 amp hour battery bank uh, two six volt series to 12 my coffee. Um, and then coming back up, we have uh, the positive and negative, which run over here to the little Coleman. And uh, just bought the uh, kit and got a couple of 12 volt relays. Um, so it should be good for you know, about 80 amps. And then also coming back up is this green wire because I had three wires. So I went ahead and went through the fuse and goes over here. And goes to my fancy 900 watt dump load, which uh, picked these dudes up out of China. You can pick them up really cheap out of China, actually. They were only about nine bucks each, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Of course, you have to wait two weeks for them to come in, but uh, so I got that set up. Uh, got a couple of these gauges from Coleman, actually, one from Coleman, one from China, because uh, actually, Coleman only carries the uh, the amps in red and the volts in blue and it drove me nuts I had to have them both in blue so I got the uh, the ammeter out of China for I think 10 bucks it's pretty cheap and, uh, so well, like I said it's it's not going to blow it's not going to blow now my trusty quarter here that locker back up but uh, what I have found is it is working better on the uh, DC side. Um, got this dude here. Uh, get that dude up at Walmart. Got the whole spiel for I think about 80 bucks. It's a hell of a deal. It's got the rain gauge on it, the anemometer, um, got the weather vane. I mean, it tells me everything I need to know. So, take a quick gander out here and look at it. open for a good three four hundred foot so there's a little tree here don't do much but so yeah. Yeah, like I said 
We ain't gonna get no wins now. Yeah. Um, we're getting a 10 mile an hour wind, but uh, yeah, it only calibrates every couple seconds. Uh, yeah, 9.3. I have found that the uh, turbine actually doesn't even spin until 8 to 9 miles per hour, and I don't create any amperage till 11 miles per hour, which I figure probably some of that's going to change once I get a, a thicker wire. I'm going to go with uh, what Jeff says and probably go with the. Uh, big heavy welding cable and run that dude in there. I'm having trouble figuring out how I'm going to ground it because I have a ball bearing set up so I can't really ground to my tower. So and I can't really run two wires down. So I don't know. i got to figure out something. But uh, but I actually have been pretty impressed. Um, battery started out about 12.4 this morning and then uh, I don't know, four or five hours are up 13.3. Dump load's nice and hot. It's been kicking off and on and off and on. So, but that's where we're at, and uh, I will keep you posted. So, thanks for watching and being patient with me. Watch this for a second, and maybe it'll do something. Yeah. Not really. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're getting close. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.